All right, today we're going to be looking at the Klisch R41M bookshelf speakers. We're going to be pairing it with the Moonkey digital amplifier. These speakers have a one inch tweeter and a four inch sub. They are 11 and a quarter tall, five and three quarters wide, 7.9 inches deep. All right, this digital amplifier, you can usually catch this on sale for 40 bucks. It's got an aluminum case. The volume is a notch, so it's real nice. If, like, if you're not looking at it, you can easily tell how much you're turning up or down. It's got a treble and a bass knob and your power. And from the PC, we're going to hook in the white and red. You have a controller with it, and this is the antenna for that. And these are going to be your speaker wires. Okay, before we go any farther, I'm going to show you how we're going to connect to the PC. These are two audio cables. We have your white and red. It's going to a single. And that, the white and red, is going to be going to the back of your amp. And then to the PC. Now we're at the back of the PC. This is just going into the single audio jack. Now there's two ways you can plug in your audio wire. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to pop off these caps and simply stick in a banana plug. Another way is you can take, strip the wire and undo this nut and wrap it around and tie it back down. Now that we have our wire stripped we're going to undo the banana plug. You slip this end. This is a negative. Through. Now there is a collar here and then you have threads. So what you want to do is kind of fan out your wires and then bend them over the collar and then you're going to slip on the other part of the banana plug tie it down and that is a tight connection you're going to do the same to the positive We have our right and left power for the amp and from the PC. Having these banana plugs makes it super simple. So you have positive, negative, and we're done. All right, so as you can tell, I don't have them in a great listening spot. You would want them um, an optimal angle, like towards you instead of behind you. It's because um, kind of in between places right now. But the quality on them are fantastic. And as for a bookshelf speaker, I don't think you can beat them for the price, for the performance. I don't think there's another brand out there that can compete. I wanted to go over every product that I used. So these are the bookshelves speakers. As you can see, they're 130. Um, I got them on a Black Friday sale. There was 120. I would not pay the price of 280 for these. This is that is way overpriced for this product. And once you get into that range, there is better ones in that price range. So, but at the 120, 130 range, they're, they're fantastic. Just Amazon Basics speaker wire. There is a hundred feet in this for 11 bucks. You're not going to use it all. You're not going to come close to using it all, but it gives you the ability to put them wherever you want. These are the banana plugs, 12 bucks. This is the cable from the PC to the amplifier, $10. This is the amplifier. Uh, Black Friday sale was 40 bucks. Now it's still on sale for 47. It's a great product. Um, around the $80 range, you might want to start searching on for other ones. Just try to compare, uh, look at reviews. Um, this one is solid. It's um, all aluminum case. 
the notches in the volume knob is nice to have. Um, it's simple, works well for this kind of setup. It's a great product.